Hey team, how you doing? I uh, just wanted to shoot a video today about um, what I'm eating again. And uh, to be more specific, what I wanted to talk about is uh, cheat meals and cheat days. So if you've been on Facebook uh, for the last week, I've been um, rambling on about you know like how I've been doing these whole cheat days and how I think it's working to help me you know lose weight and gain muscle, but uh, when I took it to the people on Facebook, I had a few of you say, oh, you shouldn't be doing cheat days, you should just be doing one meal. And I was a bit confused about that because from the things that I had read on the internet, you know, I, I was under the impression that cheat days were okay. So um, what I thought I would do is just to clear the air and get, you know, just the final word on whether cheat meals and cheat days are okay is to uh, talk to the dietitian again. So today I have here with me um, Rachel, who's, you can come in now. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, I have Rachel here with me and um, if you don't know who she is, uh, she's a dietitian and fitness freak and uh, I basically interviewed her a couple weeks ago now I think about, um, you know, like how to eat well and some of the best ways to do that and so I thought if I talked to her about the whole issue of cheat meals and cheat days, like she would definitely be someone who would know this stuff. So yeah, that's why I'm here to talk to you, cool. Rachel. So uh, I guess my first question is, um, what is the um, actual concept behind a cheat meal? Like why would you want to do something like that in the first place? Okay, so um in the health industry, a cheat meal or a cheat day, it's probably seen as a good idea to introduce or create the notion of balance. So um, <clears throat> if, you're, if you're quite good with your diet and you're used to eating really healthily and you just have dessert every now and then or a piece of cake for morning tea or something like that, then you've, you're fairly, um, that's fairly balanced. A lot of people though do struggle with that and some people um, aren't familiar with the right portions or how often to have these foods. So a cheat meal can be seen as, well, this meal, my lunch meal or my dinner meal, I'm going to have takeaway or I'm going to use butter in, or I'm going to have chips or something like that. And then a cheat day would, of course, be the whole day where you just, you don't really think too much about what you're eating. It's not to say that um, I'm encouraging you go and eat as much as you want and of all the most terrible foods, but it just gives you a chance to actually not have to think about what you're putting into your meal and just make it much easier for you. And so by doing it this way, it also helps to encourage people that they are allowed to treat themselves sometimes and they're not being too hard on themselves because that's usually when people set themselves up for failure. Mm. Okay, so what are, or well, are there any rules when it comes to cheat meals? Like, because like with your diet, like when you're in your diet and you have your diet meals, um, you have to have certain portions of things in the right ratio. Uh, does the same thing apply for a cheat meal? Or is it completely, you can do whatever you want? I would, I would um, encourage people to have a cheat meal as just, um, the most important thing is to not eat too much, is to have the normal size that you would have, so a normal dinner plate or something like that, but not having to think about what's in it at all, and just eating whatever you like, but okay. not going overboard with how much you're eating. Right, and I think that's probably one of the problems that I was having when I was taking on, not the cheat meals, but actual cheat days. I was, um, like when I first read about this, uh, the place I read it from was saying you can eat whatever you want, and I interpreted that as you can eat as much as you want, <laughs> so on my first day of having a cheat day, that's what I pretty much did, like I just did not stop eating, and I knew, like because I had to end at the end of the day, I was really trying to get in as much good food as I possibly could. As much could. as you can. Yeah, but uh, that's actually a good point because just... Um, you know, over the last couple of weeks, I've come to realise that, um, like, you do have to make sure that your portions are still well within reason. Like, you're not actually binging. Yeah, because uh, most likely you'll wake up in the morning and you won't feel that horrible, full, sick feeling, mm. and you'll be like, okay, well, that was I really enjoyed that, and so now I'll get back on track again. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so uh, you mentioned before that um, one of the reasons why you would uh, do a cheat meal is just to help. Um, like manage your cravings I guess in a sense but um, is there any kind of biological reason for why or not 
biological reason, but I guess like a weight loss reason or muscle gain reason for why you would perhaps do a cheat meal? Yeah, um, the main reason that we uh, other dietitians and health professionals would encourage a cheat day or a cheat meal is um, mainly from a psychological point of view. Um, it's to say that because when you're eating stuff and you're like, I am, I'm not, I'm not having that piece of cake. I'm not having ice cream. I'm not having takeaway. You are constantly aware of what you're depriving yourself of as such, and so you're more likely to mentally break down and just go overboard and start. I just want this, and then yeah, eat far too much of it. So it's, yep. it's mainly just from a psychological. Oh, point. okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, because I was kind of under the impression that, um, like, if you have a cheap meal, then because that particular meal is so different to all the other meals you have for that day or even for that week, um, your body kind of um, like immediate, immediately becomes aware of that, that it's like this foreign thing that you're having and it reacts in a certain way so that your body then starts to almost, um, I think, you know, like I could be completely wrong in saying this, but your body starts to um, like want to lose more weight because it sees that that meal is so different from everything else and it no, it's no longer in starvation mode or some of that. It could be confusing like all these different yeah, things. No, that, so. That's definitely correct if you are on a diet that is particularly restrictive of energy. So yeah. if you start eating a lot of, all of a sudden after a long period of time, if you start eating a lot of fatty foods or high energy foods, your body does in a way grab onto it. It doesn't actually help you to lose more weight. Um, but right. if, you're, if you're having, like what you're on Cody, like it's quite balanced and you're eating enough for your needs. Mm -hmm. So if you were to have, um, just in case you know you'd forgotten or you were busy one day, just yeah. say you had this cheat meal and it was particularly high in protein and you didn't have enough protein for that day, it will grab onto that, that's for sure. If, okay. you, if you need it, if your body's out of balance in any way. But a lot of those meals like takeaway and stuff aren't particularly nutritious. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so if I was to choose between both, cheat meal or cheat day and my ultimate goal at the moment in this part of the challenge is to lose weight without losing the muscle um, which is my best option cheat meal or cheat day i i believe if you're to have um about three three cheat meals a week then it, it reduces the time you've got to wait for that special treat so right. it's like if you have dessert on monday night and then you've only got to wait till say thursday or something Rather than having like um, the whole week where you're really perfect with your diet and then you have one day, just in case you do happen to eat too much of it or whatever. So I think, yeah, cheat meals are a good idea because you have less time to wait. Yep. Okay. I like that. Because, um, yeah, at the beginning of Monday, I'm like, man, I can't wait for Saturday. Yeah. you got, And that's like <laughs> you keep thinking about it and it's a long time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. Well, I think that about does it. Um, I'll definitely start changing my plan because, um, yeah, I've been doing the cheat day thing for probably the last, I think, maybe three or four weeks now. Yeah. And um, it's quite interesting. Like, I thought it was working at first, but, uh, like, after the fourth time doing it, I noticed that, um, like, throughout the week, I would, like, progressively, like, lose a bit of weight. And then come, like, Monday, it was coming back on again. So, I think I'll definitely try what you suggested and like just break it up into cheat meals throughout the week. Yeah. So like just like on Monday, Wednesday, Saturday type of thing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, definitely include one day that's a weekend, that's for sure. Because yeah. you're more likely to go out and do more social things. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And it's and it's a good thing too because Christmas is coming up on a Saturday, yes. so Yeah. Yeah, there'll be a big cheat meal there, that's for exactly. sure. Exactly. Nice and all right, cool. Well, thanks again for That's your time, okay. Rachel. You're welcome. Um, and if you want to get any more information about, um, you know, dieting and eating right, then contact Rachel at um, her website, activenutrition.com.au. Um, and if you missed the interview that I did with her, it's a three-part interview on, um, you know, what to do to, to eat well for weight loss and muscle gain, then definitely check that out on my website. And... Um, yeah, there you go. I'll see you in the next video.